Hello there everyone, welcome back to the channel. My name is Botox Media. Today we're finally going to be testing out some of the consoles I've gotten at my local Goodwill outlet. So uh, most notably, there was this really busted up uh, SNES that I showed in a short from a while ago. Uh, as you can see here, it is just destroyed. Uh, I'm hoping that's just that surface though. I'm hoping it's just the plastic as well as all of this other stuff. So I should say um, everything here has been thrifted with the exception of, I believe, one of these controllers. I'm not sure which one. Uh, these games in this back NES. Th that was all gifted to me from my uh, by my girlfriend. Those are her LPS things there. Uh, but this NES was found... That's good. This uh, this NES was found at a uh, at my Goodwill outlets, as well as all of these controllers. These were pretty recent. Uh, I'll show these in a pickups video, probably the day before you see this. Um, so you already saw that, I guess. Uh, as well as there's an NES control or SNES controller that is very beat up, uh, a third party one. Uh, then I really was excited for this. This is of course for the NES, the uh, NES Advantage um, little control pad thing, and then these three games. Actually, there's also somewhere over there i think it's right there yeah uh street fighter 2 so we'll test that as, out as well uh, there's here's the behind the scenes by the way <laughs> this is my uh this is behind the desk uh the, yeah N not not great i know but with that said uh we're gonna test out the two nes's first and then um uh, go into the snes stuff and of course all the controllers now uh i do not have the wires for um well either of these consoles the nes i had or snes i had simply because it's the same as the n64 i believe um, however, I did not have the power cord for that or the power cord for the NES. So I went on Amazon. You can kind of see it in there. Uh, they had this. Uh, I can get it here without breaking Donkey Kong Country. Uh, they had this kind of really cool uh, two, two, two in one power adapter. To be honest, I didn't even realize when I bought it uh, that it would do both. Um, but yeah, it has both the necessary cables for these two consoles. So I'm really excited to get this booted up on my OLED TV. Hello there, guys. I also have an adapter, of course, so it can translate from uh, the AV cables to uh, HDMI. So I am excited. We're going to start with the, uh, we'll start with the one that my girlfriend gifted me that she got from her father's attic. I'm, I'm, I'm excited. Uh, that's not a good sign, is it? <laughs> I just realized uh, that's supposed to lock down, ain't it? Listen, I'm not the most familiar with the SNES, or NES, but um, I think that might be broken. Let's find out. Longest cord of all time. That's how you had to do it back in the day, man. You had no choice. Oh, maybe, maybe it was because it was... I realized that was already on. No, that is not it. Okay, I don't know what it is. This is very dirty. Um, well, let's get the TV turned on and hope for the best here. I am not, to be honest, expecting very great results, knowing that is broken. Um, however, we still have that SNES, or NES, I keep calling it SNES. We still have that NES to test. Uh, why are we on Netflix? No. No Netflix. Uh, is it this one? It is indeed this one. So, moment of truth. I'm going to press the power button, but I'll keep it on the TV. Let's see if this uh, this good or this NES that my girlfriend found in her dad's attic works. Oh god, that was crunchy. That was crunchy. <laughs> so um, let me let me pull, let me get a closer look here. We have some power room here. So on my on my legs here. Uh, hopefully, it definitely seems that the issue is that it's just not being pushed down. If I hold it down, will it load? Okay, if I hold it down, it loads, but then it's not its not clamping. Let me turn it on and off. So it, it loads the game. Or, well, it did. <laughs> okay, let's take that off there. Uh, then pull it down, press it, and it turns on. So the NES in theory works, however this little contraption here that's supposed to hold it down is not working so um oh there you go <laughs> just slowly getting more and more <laughs> no as i'm as i'm lifting it up very slowly and then it uh cuts off so um i'm gonna test i don't listen i'm not the most familiar with nes games let me see 
Like, theoretically, could it be the game's fault? I don't think so. <laughs> I'm sure there are some uh, NES experts in here just being like, bro, you're stupid if you think switching it to a uh, heavy shred is gonna do anything. But, um, yeah, no. She's not... She's not clamping. Uh, if you're watching this and you know much about this stuff, let me know if that's an easy fix. Uh, but for now, the NES does work. It just does not hold the game cartridge in place. I don't know if that's a common issue, but uh, let's try out NES number two. All right, once again, we're just going to put uh, Super Mario Bros. in here. And the moment of truth, does it click down? This is the, uh, this Once again, this is the one I thrifted from lo my local Goodwill outlet, so I probably paid $3 for this NES. Um, let's see, please. <gasps> yes, yes. She clicks. She clicks. We're good. Um, well, as long as it actually turns on. So uh, I'm going to keep it on here as I press the power button. And actually, I can just do it real quick. Press it. Come on, please, baby. Oh, <gasps> Come on. Mario Bros? Mario Bros and Duck Hunt? No? Don't be shy. Okay, I think it's being shy. <laughs> uh, well, maybe... If I just redo it... Oh! Uh, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's there! I see you, Mario! Come on! I know you want to load, dude. That's not a good sign. Well, uh, as they say in the olden days, all it takes is a good blow. Maybe that'll do it. I'm not sure how that sounded on the mic. But uh, let's, let's put her back in here and see if that'll do it. Okay, okay, promising. Uh, once again, I, I don't remember if this was the one I thrifted or not, but let's see if this controller works. The audio definitely sounds wrong, too. Um, I'm not sure if I put that in there wrong, but okay. Um, oh, okay, as you can see here. Oh, that's loud. Controller works. Okay, guys. We have a working NES that I thrifted from my good little outlet. I'm playing with one hand, so that's not my not my best gameplay. But uh, yeah, this is sick. Wow, I can, I'm I'm happy this one works. I'm surprised this one works and not the one that um we found in an attic. <laughs> All right, so um, cool. Let me let me turn this guy off. All right, reset it. Oops. Okay, turn it off. All right, now before we test out the SNES, I do want to test um, at least one of these boys because this is always interesting to me, as well as this little fight or not fight stick. I mean, it kind of looks like a fight stick, but the uh, NES Advantage, of course. So uh, we're just going to keep it with Mario Bros. I I'm fairly confident these would probably work, but who cares about RC Pro Am, right? So uh, let, let me hook this up and then we'll see if they work. Okay, so loading up Mario Bros. Put me right in. Uh. How do I, is a, is a turbo set up? How do I, Mario, Mario, why, why does it keep pausing? Okay, let's, let's reset her. Give her a reset here. Um, A, start, select, turbo, joystick. No, don't tell me this guy doesn't work. Come on, no. Oh wait, maybe that was it. No. Thought maybe because it was on two player that would do it. Um. Oh. What? What did that? I'm confused. What's that light doing? No turbo. Turn off the turbo. How did I? What? I'm so confused now. <laughs> Work, please. What is going on? Okay. Um. I'm gonna hope that maybe the issue. Is that they're in the wrong slots? I don't know what that would really do, but let's try it out here. Okay, that seemed to do it actually. Wow, okay. Awesome. So let's see. Um that ain't that ain't doing anything, fellas. <laughs> I really hope I'm just stupid and I'm I don't know how to use this, but it seems as though the NES advantage I found at my Goodwill outlet is not working. Um, so if you guys have any more insight on this, maybe an, an easy way to fix this, let me know. But uh, this unfortunately does not work. So so far we had a working NES, a working controller, and then a not working NES advantage and a not working NES. You're ba you're you're bad. You're shamed over here. Okay, let's uh let's test out this turbo pad though. I'm, I'm curious about this. Okay, I don't even know. 
Okay, so this is like a weird digital pad thing, uh, but it's seemingly working. Get her started here. One player game. Oh, that's so cool. <laughs> Listen, I know I, I have a lot of older viewers that are probably like, man, look, look at this kid using an NES for the first time. But I don't know, man. This is the kind of stuff I'd always see in videos, and I'd always be like, oh man, I wish I had a uh, had an NES, um, and then all these weird accessories. So uh, this is sick. What a weird controller, by the way. I just have to say, what a odd odd concept for a controller. Okay, well, I'm content with the NES stuff, I must say. So, let's move on to SNES. Right, cool. So, I'm, I'm really glad the NES works, uh, well, one of them. Uh, however, we still have to test, and this is the one I'm really worried about. Um, here's the thing, right? I don't know how much practicality these consoles actually have in my day-to-day -day -day life at this point because of the Switch Virtual Console and the Wii U and all that, so um, will I really be using them that much? I don't know. However, I will say, if I were going to use one of them or one of these consoles, it would be this SNES because, um, I don't know, I, I personally think the just SNES games are such, a, are such a higher quality, and I actually have some good ones here uh, that I kind of showed off at the start of the video. We got uh, Rosenbaum's copy of Zelda, uh, Mario All-Stars. Uh, and then Donkey Kong Country, and then also I mentioned there's a Street Fighter somewhere lurking around. So um, the SNES is a uh, has a much better library in my opinion. So all right, we have the disgusting any or SNES here. Uh, let's pull out the cord. Where is it? Oh, I think this actually is the one. My bad. Hold it with the feet. You know what you got to do. And then we have this here. I already plugged it into the uh, cables up there for the converter. So that should be it. And then uh, we do have the two controllers to test. Uh, we have this one, which is in much better shape, and then this one that is not in great shape. So let's toss out the not in great shape one first. Unravel it here. There's tons of tons of wires in the in the crossfire here. And then, uh, ooh, actually, I, I notice. I hope that's not an issue. It looks like something like burned in there. Or is that just dirt? I have no idea. <laughs> uh, but yeah, once again, I, I did find this at my, my good wallet, so... Uh, I have not cleaned anything up, basically. And then, uh, let's just do... Where's Mario? And, uh, we'll, we'll do Donkey Kong, actually. I think that's fair. Use my foot. <laughs> People are probably screaming at me for doing this like this. Okay, uh, moment of truth. Please, please. Yes! Yes! This busted-ass SNES works, dude. Yes! But does the controller work? I am very curious. Let's see here. Uh, I'm pressing buttons. Nothing's happening. Nothing is happening when I press any of the buttons. Not the most promising. Uh, I should know it is. I mean, look at this. Look at this. Look at this L button. <laughs> um, so let me put in the other controller. God, even just taking this out, the plastic's like tearing. Um, let me see here if this little, what is this, a turbo pad? SN Pro pad. Let's see if this guy works. Um, just slapping it around. God, I'm taking terrible care of my very bad condition items. Okay, so moment of truth. All right, so my phone did just run out of storage, but uh, this controller is not working. We're gonna try it one more time. I was pressing everything; nothing was happening. Uh, I'm, I'm glad the console itself works. All I need to do is get a proper co uh, controller. Although it could be that the ports messed up, maybe. Um, so let's see if maybe we can get some some magic going here. I'm um, pressing. Pressing the buttons. Nothing's happening. What is going on, guys? Doing that dance, dude. Gotta respect that. I refuse to give up. Go on, baby. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. No way. This person had 22% done. What? Why is it working now? Or is it not? Can I... Is it... Oh, is it select, maybe? No? Uh... Oh my god, are we playing? Oh my god. So it... It's Candy. Candy Kong. Uh, A. Let's just load into a... I oh know, let's go... Temple Tempest. I've never actually beaten Donkey Kong Country. Yo! So, I don't know. I guess something's wrong with the, um... Well, I died. I guess something's wrong with the port. But the controller does seem to work. At least sometimes. Awesome. <laughs> Alright, well, there you guys have it. It seems as though the, the very busted up SNES does work. As well as one of the NES's 
not this one this one's bad uh the one on the ground there is the one that seems to work so uh really cool finds at the goodwill bins of course i've shown all this stuff in my pickups videos in the past so go check out those uh, and subscribe to see more excuse me pickups videos in the future i always find cool stuff like this and uh, i'll do more uh, videos testing other consoles i found i have found some other consoles like wii's and uh, a couple 360s so uh stay tuned for that if you want to see that let me know down in the comments below of course you can subscribe to me here on youtube for more all the, uh, more videos on everything i was gibberish follow me on twitter at botox media join the discord link to that is down in the description and until next time guys bye bye